I'm Thelma. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today I have for you two DIYs for the 4th of July. One of them I will be showing you how to make this cute and adorable 4th of July gnome. Now the, the I can't even talk, give me a second. The items that I'm using on this is from Walmart and the Dollar Tree. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, our first project, I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade pillow out of this fabric that I got from Walmart. It came in a quarter for $1.38 and they had other patterns too. Now first you want to, you want to lay them down inside out. Even them up. And then you want to go in with your glue gun. You'll need a lot of glue sticks on this. Let me get mine ready. Bump the camera there, sorry. Just flip this side over. Again, make sure it's even. On all sides. Just flip this over. Make sure. Let's see. Put one side down face up. Make sure you do one face up or you'll have one inside outside. Alright, now flip this over. Just start gluing a straight line. And make sure you leave one end, which I'll show you when I get to it, not glued. That way you can flip this inside out. And squeeze down on it. I mean push down on it, not squeeze. <laughs> make sure you pull it up off your surface that way it won't dry on to it because it'll go through this fabric I'm going to leave this end unglued so I'm going to come over to Flip it around and come over to this side. If you have finger guards, go ahead and put them on. I'm just not wearing mine today. 
or in my other container. And just put it all the way down to the end, to the corner there. Okay, just now. Take this and bring it inside out. And what I'm going to be using is stuffing from an old pillow that I had or have. Whoops. Sorry about that. That's one of the baby kittens. They like to get into everything. They like to jump up here and see what's all on the table when I'm crafting. Okay. Now, stuff it. Now, you can't put this in the wash machine and dry it because of the glue. If you want one uh, that you put in the wash machine and wash, um, you will have to use needle and thread or a sewing machine. And just stuff it down in there all the way to the corners. Pull it loose, that way it's not a big knot inside. Now, and this is for decorative purposes only. Almost have it finished. Now, what you do, you flip this over, flip it over like this, and just do small sections at a time. Make sure you make a straight line. And bring this side over. Now, see the little gap here? Go ahead and 
fill that in. And be careful, don't, don't burn yourself. And always flip it up like I'm doing. Just flip it up and Tuck them under and squeeze. This side is the hardest side to do, but you can get it done. And once it dries real good, we'll fluff it and get it into these corners. I found one of my finger guards. So just tuck it in. Okay, now we can work on this side. Just fluff it. Whoops. Smacked that camera real good, didn't I? Sorry about that. Just keep fluffing until you get it into the corner there. Now, and fluff the center. You don't want a, a bumpy pillow. <laughs> Do the same thing here. Just pull it apart. Well, this side, if it comes loose, you don't want to pull too hard like I just did. Just tack it back together. Now, do on this end and just pull the pillow stuffing up. There you go, there's your pillow. Let me bring this camera up just a little so you can see it. There's the pillow. And now we'll get ready to do my second project. Okay, you'll need another one of these tin cans. I showed you how to do a different gnome before in, my, in two videos ago. Now I'll take your pliers or your wire cutters and just pull this loose so 
See how that just comes right out. And if it bends, you just bend it back. Simple to do. I've done this before. But anyway, don't use as much muscle and it'll come straight off just like the other one did. Okay, we'll put this in the back. Now, first, you're going to need some more fabric and some more of this. Um, it's this mop. You get it at the Dollar Tree. Now, measure this from the bottom to the top here. Right there. And just cut it. Now, there's going to be a lot of um, sprays come off of this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just take it and pull it loose that way it's not getting all over the place now take your glue gun go ahead and put it on this and glue it right to the edge of this. Okay, now take your fabric. Let me see which side I want to do. This side here. <clears throat> Measure it to where the ends here go in the back. Alright, what you want to do is get you some glue. And put it all the way over. And um, even at the edge here. Make sure it's straight. Just pull it on. Okay, now. Take it and go all the way around. Leave some space right here. Not, not, as, not that much. Yeah, leave that much space right there. And let's do the other side here. And pull it. Now you don't have to go as far down on this as I did, but it's quite okay. Now, I'm going to cut what I don't need off. I want this to be one of those that flop over on the side. So we're just going to cut. You want to measure it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Make sure you cut a straight line when you do it. So, with this, it'll be easy to do. Because of the lines, the pattern of the material. Okay, 
cut now. Take this. Go ahead and glue it together here. Make sure it's straight, even. Okay. now cut this off about three inches and then just Take this and bring it over and tuck, tuck this one in. Tuck it in real good. And then let me turn around here where you can see it. I'm going to go at an angle. Flip this sideways too, in, I mean inside out. Just roll it. You want a little point here at the end. And we're going to sew this, not sew, but glue. Glue this down. Make sure it glues. It's a little tricky, but you can do it. I love making knowns. I just use the top or the bottom of the can to have something to push that flat on. And now, just for this, Make sure it's all going tucked under. Let me get that glue off my thumb. Right here, start tucking this over. And glue that. Make sure it's okay. Make sure it's all glue. Now, take this and you're going to flip it like that. Then you're going to do the same to the other side and glue it. Now, if you want to stuff it, you can, but I don't stuff all mine. I did the ones at um, Christmas time, and I think I made one for Valentine's Day, but I just don't stuff all mine. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. And then on the end, you want to put a pom-pom ball. I'm choosing red because of, um, well, 4th of July.
and then we just have to do his little nose. Let me see, that's too big. We're going to do his little nose right in the center. Put a fair amount of glue. Center it up. Mm. Be careful not to burn yourself like I just did. Okay, I'm going to hold this up and show you what he looks like. And there's your patriotic 4th of July gnome. Alright, I want to thank you all for stopping by and checking out my channel. And be sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. That way you will be entered into the contest I have going on, which uh, I will uh, down in the description box I will get the details and the rules but all you have to do is watch a video this one will be fine and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to it and um, leave a comment let me know that you subscribed that way I'll have your user ID name to uh, jot down and put in the box for the drawing and once I reach 500 subscribers you will win, um, four people will win the contest, and I'll notify you through, um, through YouTube. Now, give me a second, and I'll go get the, um, items that I'm going to be putting in today's contest. Okay, today I'm going to be putting in this, this is a pink amber poppy, um, reed diffuser. Let me bring it up close so you can see it. And this one is Wild Apple and Ashwood um, Reed Diffuser. And these are the two items I am putting into the, today's contest. Okay, I hope y'all have a nice day. Until next time.